the fearful i wrote down here and the cowardly never become great those who are fearful in life those who are cowardly never become great in fact when you read joshua chapter one it was uh, on the first seven verses of joshua chapter one was the lord exhorting joshua he said moses my servant is dead then he began to admonish joshua joshua i know that you have never treaded this path before you have never led a stiff necked and a stubborn people like this i know that there are many things that you anticipate that will happen to you but then he told him be strong and of good courage the fearful the cowardly never become great welcome to chat now channel we are glad you tuned in today to experience another life-changing encounter in god's presence the bible says in psalm 119 verses 130 the entrance of thy word is it life as you listen and watch may you experience the transformative power of god's life if you're writing i want you to write this down number one is you will have to take risks of faith to succeed in life it is a law we live in a world where we are very risk averse we do not want to fail we hate failure we hate being purported as failures and so we are we are very we are, we are excessively careful to a fault it is the reason why we cannot do many things there are people today who cannot start businesses because they are afraid of failure they were in a world of guarantees we are obsessed with guarantees the bank will not give you loan for instance until they have a system of guarantee most people will want give me a guarantee that i will arrive safely from my trip give me a guarantee that the journey i'm about to start is not a risky one the the, the 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 risk that you will have to take in life is the risk of faith the fearful i wrote down here and the cowardly never become great those who are fearful in life those who are cowardly never become great in fact when you read joshua chapter one it was uh, on the first seven verses of joshua chapter one was the lord exhorting joshua he said moses my servant is dead then he began to admonish joshua joshua i know that you have never treaded this path before you have never led a stiff necked and a stubborn people like this i know that there are many things that you anticipate that will happen to you but then he told him be strong and of good courage the fearful the cowardly never become great it will take us trusting god even at times like this there are people who have lost jobs as a result of the pandemic there are people who have lost opportunities businesses are foiled up several things have gone wrong in the lives of people and right now people are perplexed they are they are full of fear they are wondering uh, what next they are already prophecies that you know insinuate disasters of some sort coming in the future and people are afraid but it says only be thou strong and very courageous so the law of faith mandates that will be prepared to take risks to take risks in life john 11 and verse 40 Shalapo jesus said to her saith i not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe believe agree with me take me serious take me as true thou shouldest see the glory of god the glory of god is the full weight of everything that makes him god the entire span of the essence of who he is his goodness his love his power that if you want to see the favor the goodness the power the the glory of god you will have to believe you have to take god seriously you have to pledge your life and say lord i believe you i understand what you have said so let me walk you through the equation of faith new heritage baptist church just to open us up to uh, the character of faith and the way that faith works and there is no other person who will guide us in understanding the subject of faith like the patriarch abraham himself it is very very important i think it was isaiah 51 let, let me turn there myself uh, um, isaiah 51 
we'll read from verse 1 and 2 Isaiah 51 we are discussing the law of faith now the law of faith hearken to me all ye that follow after righteousness ye that seek the Lord look unto the rock whence ye were hewn and to the hole of the pit whence ye were dead verse 2 look unto Abraham your father now let me explain this scripture look unto means observe go back like a student studying the notes of a lecturer the bible says the things that are written at four time it says they are for our learning so that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope so the bible says understudy abraham your father the word father there is the originator of this system i'm about to deal with faith and i have used a man to personify this system understudy abraham your father he says and unto Sarah that bear you, it says, For I called him alone, and I blessed him, and I increased him. That means follow his path. But resting on this, Paul in Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 15 tells us to follow them, he says. The them here are Abraham your father, Sarah your mother, and all who have followed them. He says, Okay, he says, So after he had patiently endured abraham now he obtained the promise obtained the promise he obtained it so we're going to just look very quickly um how god started with abraham let's go to genesis chapter 12 very quickly i trust that the lord is blessing you with this moment of profound exposition genesis chapter 12 now the lord said unto abraham now notice this was an idol worshiper who came from all of the chaldeans and now and theologically speaking you would when you read from verse 11 you will find out that the first person god spoke to was not abraham the first person god spoke to was terah his father god called the father and for some reason uh, things did not work out for him he did not seem to comply and now we get to 12 verse 1 and the lord said unto abraham get thee out of thy country and from thy kindred and from thy father's house unto a land that i will show you now this here i don't know about you but this for me is the spelling of risk get out verse one again please get out of your country number one and then when you are in your country don't keep in touch with your kindred and then number three leave your father's house i don't know the name of whoever obeys this kind of instruction but when you leave your relatives when you leave your family both spiritual and physical when you leave your country you are almost a fugitive and a vagabond and now he says leave to a land no name that i will show you lord how do i know when i arrive there what is the name of that land at least give me a clue and if you obey me verse 2 this is what follows i will when he was saying this it was not yet a reality in abraham's life i will make of thee a great nation hallelujah i will bless thee i will make thy name great i wish i had time for us to walk this that you are not great until your name is also great it says oh lord our god how excellent is your name and thou shalt be a blessing verse 3 it says i will bless them that bless thee and curse him that cursed thee and in thee shall all families all the families of the earth be blessed be blessed genesis chapter 15 goodness genesis chapter 15 we're exploring the patriarch abraham as a way and a guide to understand the law of faith we're going to read the first six verses genesis 15. after these things he said the word of the lord came unto abraham in a vision remember faith always starts with the word of the lord faith does not just start with our pain alone faith does not just start with the awareness of our limitations 
faith the process of faith starts when the word of the lord comes it says the word of the lord came unto abram in a vision saying fear not abram i am thy shield and thy exceeding great reward verse 2 it says and abraham said lord god what will thou give me seeing that i go childless so this is a man trusting god for uh, a child trusting god for an opportunity that produces continuity and the steward of my house is this eliezer of damascus and abraham said behold to me thou hast not given no seed huh? to me thou hast given no capital to me thou hast given no destiny helper to me thou hast not provided what becomes an advantage a basis for security of my tomorrow he says and lo one born in my house is my heir that means no one within i cannot boast of saying i have someone who can represent my tomorrow verse 4 and behold the word of the lord came unto him saying this shall not be thy heir this is a prophetic word already for someone someone is already beginning to create alternatives to say lord it looks like you will not do what you have said so maybe let me begin to consider lesser alternatives and god is saying no what i said to you five years ago i'm still saying it now i've not changed my mind i said i will bless you i've not changed my mind i said i will lift you i've not changed my mind he says this shall not be your heir look how look how nice abraham was understand what is happening he is saying god since for some reason you have not found me worthy use somebody in my house at least to have a child lord since it looks like i can never become blessed by myself bless somebody and make the person at least consider me and god said no that which i told you that you will be the voice in your family that which i told you that you will be a man of god you will not just listen to the messages of other men of god tomorrow someone will also be listening to the counsel of god upon your lips he says this shall not be thine heir but that shall come forth from thy own bowels shall be thy heir very powerful i think please go back to verse 4 right where you are in one minute if you can just say a word of prayer and say lord i believe you i'm sorry for attempting to want to create alternatives you told me i will prosper in lagos i came to lagos you told me i should come to new heritage baptist church but as it is now we're in 2020 uh and it looks like where well, this is august the eighth month and it looks like nothing is already showing forth in my life and i'm already giving you options to say lord it looks like you will not bless me someone needs to pray and tell god in this conference my faith is fired up lord i return back to that which you told me i believe you i believe you i believe you the person who will bless me you have told me that my children will feed me you have told me you will not leave me in shame but as it is none of my children have jobs and it looks like shame and reproach is all that i'm seeing and i'm about to even pray i was about to pray that you will use my neighbor or you will use my relatives to at least bless me but now you are speaking to me that by the law of faith i must return back to believe you that you are able that you are able that it will come from me I don't have to outsource it from somewhere else very very powerful we believe you were blessed by the message you just watched let us know what stood out to you in the comment section you can also support our channel by liking and sharing our videos so more people like you will be able to watch these powerful messages we celebrate you and see you in our next video thank you